Hey guys, this is David with Laptop Mag. Today we're going to show you how to take screenshots of your Android device using the SDK. Okay, first thing you need to do is you need to click on the Android SDK link we have right here. It'll take you to Google's Android SDK site. And then you're going to click on the installer for your operating system. If you have Windows, click on the .exe one here and download it to computer. Okay, next we're going to open the .exe file. So we're going to find it and then double click it. Hit run. Hit next. And then it's going to tell you you need to install the Java uh, software developer kit if you don't have it. So click on that link. Take you to the Java website. Then you're going to click on download JDK. Click you accept. And then select the JDK for your version. For me, I'm using 64 bit Windows, so I'm going to click on that. And save that to my computer. Okay, and then once you've downloaded that, you're going to open it and double click on it. and then click run click next, next, and wait for it to install ok then you're going to click finish Close this. It's going to try to take you to the Java website. You can just close that too. And then we're going to reopen the SDK, hit back, and then next again. And this time it should let you go past the JDK part. Just let it install it uh, wherever it wants. Usually it's program files, Android, Android SDK. And next, wait for it to finish installing. Click finish. Uh, check off that you want to open the SDK. And it's done and it'll automatically run the SDK manager and tell you that there's a bunch of things that need to be updated. We're gonna click accept all, then next, and wait for it to install. Bear in mind that this will take a while, so maybe go make a sandwich and then come back. Okay, and then once it's all done, you can click done and close it out. And then close out the command prompt. Okay, and then we're going to open the Android SDK. Uh, we're going to go to C, and then Program Files x86 if you're using 64-bit, or just regular Program Files if you're using 32-bit. Then Android. Then Android SDK. And then we're going to look inside the Tools folder first, and we're going to make sure that DDMS is in there, which it is. So then we're going to go back. And then we're going to click on Platform Tools and make sure adb.exe is in there. Okay, then on the device, we're going to go hit Menu, then Settings, Applications, Development, and make sure that USB debugging is checked on. Then we're going to plug in the device by USB cable into our computer. Okay, and then on the computer, we're going to go to Start Menu, type in CMD in the search bar and hit Enter. This will open a command prompt. And then we're going to type the following in uh, with hitting enter at the end of the line. C colon forward slash. And this is written underneath the video in case you need it. Now, I did uh, x86 in parentheses because I'm using 64 bit. If you're using 32 bit, uh, it's just program files with no x86 in parentheses. Hit enter. And then we're going to type in ADB devices and hit enter. Now a serial number should pop up like it did for me if your phone is detected. Okay, if your phone is not detected, what you can do is you can uh, try to manually force it to download the driver. So we're going to click on PDA Net, then download the version of the PDA Net installer. Now this is a program used to tether your phone, uh, but we're going to use it here to manually install the drivers. Then go back once that's installed, replug in the phone, do this step again, and uh, 
hopefully it'll show you a serial number this time. If it doesn't, then we're just going to go to Google, type in the name of your device, whatever it may be, with the words ADB device or ADB drivers after it. And then you're going to have to try to find and download it manually. Uh, and then again, try again and see if you can get the serial number to pop up. Okay, so after you get your device's serial number to show up, we're going to go to the computer, C drive, program files, Android, Android SDK. Then we're going to go to the tools folder. And we're going to find the ddms.bat file and click that. We'll open a command prompt and then the Dalvik debug program. On the left hand side you should see your device. We're going to highlight that, then hit device, screen capture, and you should see the screen that is on your device. Uh, in order to change this screen though, you need to do whatever it is on your phone that you want to do, then hit refresh. So say I want to swipe to the right. I've done that on my phone, but it's not showing here. I have to hit refresh. Swipe back, refresh, and so on. Now once you have the screen that you want to capture, you just hit uh, either copy, uh, which will copy to the clipboard, and then you can paste it into paint or something like that. Or you can hit save, and this will actually just save the picture as a PNG file wherever you want. You can name it to whatever you want. And that's it. Now you can go to wherever it is you saved it, search for it. And you'll see your screenshot right there.